going to be testing out Calor Soft Pastel Color Pencils and a Mystery Art Supply. Thank you. Okay, here we are. Are you ready? Okay, this is the Calor 50P Soft Pastel Color Pencil. Soft Touch Premium Expert. Artist Premium Quality. Rich and vibrant colors, soft, smooth, lead, non-toxic. <laughs> of course, all that same stuff on the back. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Unsurpassably light, fast, and acid-free quality pigments. And I have dirty fingernails because there's always paint or poly... poly epoxy resin under them okay here we go 50 pieces i got these off of the uh, timu i don't remember how much they were pardon me while i figure out how to open it oh, okay now that that's over with oh i did test them out on this here we go. That's the first tray. They do have color names and numbers, but I've never seen Color open stock. Have you? I feel very clumsy today. And here's the second layer. And there's only two layers. Very blues and greens, pinks, purple, brown, gray, black. I've had these for a while and I've also had the mystery art supply even longer probably six months or more I actually forgot I had it and I was organizing the other day and I found them I was like oh I forgot about these okay let's see here <sighs> what shall we try let's try this one here mauve deep oh look at all that light fast these little plus signs are equivalent to their light fastness so this one has one two three four one two three four five stars plus signs or whatever let's see if we can find one that has less if there is one that has less and they all seem to have five, even the yellow. And yellow, oh wait, here we go. This one has four. Okay. But use some spray of fixative and it should make the colors last a little longer. So these are um, soft pastels or chalk pastels in pencil form. Awesome, so there's not that dusty mess everywhere. You need to get it all over your clothes, you breathe it in. And, uh, and you can get to, like, little fine details with these, too. Oh, okay. I like them. They are kind of dusty still, but not as bad. I don't know what I'm drawing here. Ooh, that sound. Okay, they are very colorful. I'm not going to swatch every one of them. I don't feel like doing this for three hours. Okay, so there's that one. Let's get a lighter color purple. Get it out. Okay, this one is French Violet. The sound, I've got to be honest, is making me cringe. It's partially my fault, I'm sure. Well, they do blend nice. They are still dusty. Okay, we always like to try the black here. <clears throat> okay, they're not the easiest to get out. Oh, look at, okay, look at this black. That's a nice black. 
That's a nice black. That's what I sounded like. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna do some basic drawings and then see if we can blend it. Okay, here we go. You ready? Oh, I messed that up. Ugh. Okay, so I'm not too impressed with the white. You can't really get a really good highlight. It's just kind of mediocre. But let's try a different color. Let's see. Let's try a green. I don't know how I feel about these. I'm sure they're very nice. Just, you know, you, you think something's kind of poopy, and then you go to actually really use it, and it's like, oh, these aren't as bad as I thought. Oh, that broke. These aren't as bad as I thought they were. All right. Shake the camera some more. Okay, the white, huh? Meh. Meh. Um, gotta be honest. I think my expectations exceeded the reality here. But they aren't horrible. But I'm kind of disappointed in the white. I really can't get a... Hold on a second. <clears throat> okay, so this is my little cheapy set here that I got Meyer, which is a grocery store here in this area. And I dropped them and they all fell apart. But let's just check out the white. See, this little cheapy pastels. The white is much better. You know it's bad. So I like this little cheap set better. It's smoother. It doesn't make that cringy sound. Of course, these are not in pencil form, so I'm sure that has something to do with it. Even the black is more vibrant. And for the life of me, I have no idea what the name brand is of this. Threw away the box. And, yeah, so there's that. Anywho, the color, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so, color soft, pal soft pastel color pencil set is eh. You might be better off unless you want them in pencil form and you I'm sure there's better there's brands out there that are better than this. But they're not bad. I think they were like sixteen dollars. And they are super light fast. But I think that <coughs> the <coughs> excuse me, my voice is gone. Those little cheapy ones that I got at Meyer blend better or smoother. Oh, well, anyway, enough of that. So, mystery item. Color again. 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 What's in here? What is this? Came very well packaged. I don't even remember where I got these from. Let's try to... Okay. This slide right out. Ta da! <laughs> Ta da! It's upside down. It's the 120 piece premium colored pencils. I love this tin. I love this artwork. 
Okay, and it says unsurpassably light fast. And again, on these, I mean, that is always a good thing. That is always a good thing. Now, some people find this noise annoying, but I kind of like it. It's like Christmas. Okay. Okay, there's a hinge. This washing chart. Oh, I can smell them. <clears throat> they smell like color pencils. And it does have the light fastness on them. So here's your first tray. Light fast ratings are on them. If you can see it, there's the first tray. Second tray. Of course, the trays, as in all of color pencil trays, it seems like, are flimsy. But I've seen worse. I have a feeling these are pretty much the same as I think a 280 set minus a few colors. A lot of greens. Oh, and here are your darker colors. Some metallics. These are pretty. I like these. <clears throat> I like the bottom layer. Boy, am I awkward. Alright, so what? Hmm. Which ones are we going to test? Let's actually test this tray. Alright, let's see. Let's try this one. This one stands out to me. It is magenta. You ever see that episode of Golden Girls where Blanche is explaining to Dorothy how she hates magenta? Because of how it makes her feel. She feels sad and down. She feels like magenta. I don't know why I thought of that. But anyway. Okay, these are smooth. Not really drawing anything. Just watching it out. These are smooth. I must admit. I like these better than the pastel pencils that we just did vibrant pick a darker one try to see if they blend oh you know what I just thought of have you tried uh, Faber-Castell polychromos. Oh man, you try those. Every color pencil seems like, like, what? What are you talking about? What is this in a color pencil? But, I will say, these are pretty nice. They are blending, not as well as polychromos. But better than, um, what are them? It's like the ones that you get from Five Below. And don't do it. Just don't. Don't do that to yourself. They are a chore. Okay, so I, don't, I really don't know where the hell I'm going with this. Well, let's see. Where'd that white one go? Okay, unless you have like dark paper, this isn't showing up a whole lot on anything. Maybe that's the case with the other set we just did. The Color Soft Pastels, maybe if it's on dark paper, it'll work better. Or even pastel paper, I mean, my God, I'm just using regular sketch paper. So, you know, maybe, like I said, once you start using them the way you're supposed to use them, there's a big difference. Let's try this blue, whatever it is. 
It is a violet lake. Oh, okay, this one's nice. This one's really nice. Take that or whatever. Nice. Hey, in the comments, let me know what you do for a living. I just got out of the mortgage industry. I have mortgage burnout really bad. And I went into the recycling industry doing some bookkeeping and executive assistant to a major recycling company around here in this area. Nice change, what am I doing? Nice change of pace. I'm just drawing and babbling. I'm getting to no kind of point with either one of them. Okay, these color pencils are nice. So you have some neon colors, some very few pastel colors. Uh, landscape colors. I see these two are blending kind of nicely. Am I even a shot? Yeah. So this one looks. Let's look at the, the. Okay, that's how the ends look. This paint color on the outside is nothing like the lead. Okay, this is a nice neon color. I like neon colors for some reason. <clears throat> okay, this one looks like a neon. Yeah, somewhat. Maybe this one's more so. It's almost the same. So, okay, so you have one neon. And I want to test out the black one. Right, black. Black is very nice. It's very nice. Black is nice. White, we have no idea because we're on white paper, but it doesn't really highlight anything. Uh, what is this one? Dark gray. Okay. And we have a few metallics in here. Let's see, come out of there. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Metallic copper. Oh yeah. That's, oh, it's sparkly. I'm sure it's not picking up. I'll show you here closer in a second. That is sparkly. Sparkly. These okay. These metallics are nice. Okay. <laughs> Gold. Sometimes I feel bad about using metallics on any kind of art supply, as I think they have mica in them. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they have mica which is like farmed, farmed in um, other countries by children because they're small and they can get into the caves. So sometimes, I, sometimes I feel bad about metallic colors. I can't stop picking up. Anyway, okay, so these I like. They're very nice. Would recommend getting those. These, I don't really know yet. If you have these and you've used them, are they better than what I had just now? When you really get to use them and they're on actual pastel paper and a darker paper, is it better? Let me know in the comments, please. And thank you for joining me here on the Seventh House Art Studio. Make sure you come back, give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe, help my channel grow. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Have a great night.